Hey, what's up everybody? Wave Watch is here coming at you with just another quick out of theater reaction. This is not a review because I'm trying to go back to my um, old format of doing full reviews at home. So this is just my quick out of theater thoughts. This time for Imaginary, just got through seeing it and I didn't go in with the highest of expectations um, just because it, the trailers didn't make it look like anything special when i saw the trailer honestly the first thing that uh, came to mind was the fact that we have two movies in 2024 about imaginary friends the blumhouse horror movie that i just saw and uh coming coming later on um i think sometime in the summer we're getting ryan reynolds and john krasinski's um family friendly imaginary friend movie and you know it's funny that i was thinking pretty much thinking that the whole time because this honestly feels like it was meant to be a like kind of a PG rated horror movie like something like Coraline or a Goosebumps with Jack Black or something like that but because Blumhouse is producing it they you know stepped up the creep factor they got some blood and lang language and sexual windows in there now PG-13 rated horror movie definitely not marketed towards kids because it the way it's like acted and executed and even like the, like the musical score was something that you honestly hear in like a Disney Channel movie almost. It's very bizarre, but it's obviously not going for that. It's marketing itself as a horror movie and a more sinister movie, but I was never legitimately terrified or even like tense at anything that happened in this movie. I really don't know what they were going for here at all. It's it's very unusual. And uh, speaking of Coraline, this is pretty much a mashup of Coraline, The Babadook, and um, definitely Child's Play as well. And uh, just unfortunately not as interesting or as thrilling or as you know creepy or intense as any of those movies um i put it i rank it i put it right up there with um you know this january's night swim from earlier this year just like this just feels like something that blumhouse made on a shoestring budget because they know that people teenagers especially because it is another pg-13 rated horror movie like um night swim teenagers are gonna go see it on date night and I guess in their head scare themselves uh, silly, but um, I, I don't. I have the feeling that um, you know, at least in my screen, I wasn't the only person who was pretty pretty bored by this and not scared at all. So I don't really know. But those are my out of theater thoughts. Um, I can't wait to do a full review of this because um, there's a there's a lot more I want to say. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. Peace.